Hey guys, so today I want to talk about a very important uh, topic. If you're a diabetic, you need to watch this. Whether you're type 1 or type 2, you need to watch this. If you're pre-diabetic, you need to watch this. Very important. If you're a coach, you need to watch this. And the topic is why diabetics need to decrease the need for insulin. So the goal should always be to take the least amount of insulin possible. And I'm talking about a type 1 and a type 2 that's also taking insulin. In medicine, the goal is to normalize blood glucose. That's the goal. As long as your blood sugars are normal, you're fine. But here's the problem. Here we have insulin that takes the sugar or the blood glucose out of the vascular system. But the question is, where is it going? Is it just vaporizing? Is it uh, vanishing in thin air? No, it's being converted and hidden in other places in the body, around the heart, around the liver, around the organs, around the pancreas as visceral fat. So, wow, you, you achieve your goal. You actually normalize the blood sugar, but you just, you just took one problem and you pushed it somewhere else. It's well known that when someone is a diabetic and they're taking insulin, that their risk factors for cardiovascular events do not decrease. In fact, the more insulin that they take, the more cardiovascular problems they have, the more the blood pressure goes up, the greater risk of dying, and taking more insulin accelerates arterial sclerosis. Now, if you take someone that's not a diabetic and you increase the insulin, you increase the risk of getting heart disease. Why? It's because insulin destroys the heart in many different ways. So yes, it's true that high sugar causes problems in the nervous system, in the eye, in the kidney, and even the heart. But high insulin will do the same thing, if not worse. And every diabetic who is insulin dependent knows the more carbs they consume, the greater the need for insulin, right? So what is the elephant in the room? It's basically the carbohydrates. You need to lower the carbohydrates. There's just real no emphasis on this really simple solution. If we decrease the carbs, we decrease the need for insulin, we improve the cardiovascular uh, risk factors. Now, I don't know about you, but doesn't, isn't this logic 101? This is so simple to understand. So if you're diabetic, get with your doctor and start questioning these things. Yes, your blood glucose is normal at the expense of high levels of insulin. You should work on some program to do whatever you can to decrease the need for insulin. And that would be intermittent fasting and healthy keto. Thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications. Daily notifications, that sounds weird. Well, I'll just remind you on a daily basis. How about that?